What's up and welcome back to an all new episode of Ear Nugs. I'm your host, ADC, and let's jump into it. Lil Nuggy, who do we have on the show this week? This week's song is Smoke Sesh by Dre AM. Oh, Dre AM. This artist submitted his song through my email. So if you're an artist out there and you want to be on the show, send me an email or go on my social media, send me a message and we'll try to get you on the show. I believe this artist is friends with one of our former guests on the show, Armstrong WW. I really like the tone of this artist's voice. It, it, it can sound raw and sometimes gritty at times. So just the, the sound of his rapping over the beats, it's something that it's just very intriguing to me. So let's not waste any more time and let's head on over to the room and check this video out. Okay, we got a little sample beat. Different levels, different devils that you come across. I know several motherfuckers that will fund the cost. That it takes to climb the steps over the underboss. I'm going in underdog, this pun is going underdog. I'm a microcosm of the micromanagement my parents did, but now I'm just an arrogant prick. Now I'm equipped for life, don't despair, just click. And I exhibit ignorance, but I pair with quips, yeah. Come get high with me, rub it up now. Come get high with me, light it up now. Smoke for a nice release, rub it up now. Come get high with me. Incorrigible attitude, sympathy for like bad crews. Rappers can separate from their rapping and do like a melodic type chorus at times. So I really like that. Is irrelevant, plus the flow celibate, ain't no one touch it. Never rush it, just follow it to conclusion. Using, abusing a system and cruising the distant illusions of happiness as usual. Come get high with me, roll it up now. Come get high with me, light it up now. Smoke for a nice release, roll it up now. Come get high with me. I'm a world class douche, hurl past you. I'm a feral ass dude. Man, your referral is past due. Deferrals are unacceptable. Put me on a pedestal. My downfall is inevitable. Effing ineffable. How my moves swing like the pendulum do. Life is peaceful if you put a heart to question in dude soon. Play the strings from the Like that little like mirror effect that he's using Come in this video. With me. Roll it up now. Come it's kind of trippy, with like you're. On some drugs or something. <laughs> Come get high with me. How can I characterize with only so many characters? I will pair it a lot as long as they don't catch up. My sense of self is wretched to qualify for peasant, but can't stay in the present. So life is never pleasant. I also like the lighting of this video too. Just like the shadows and like different colors that they're using too. Especially with the smoke. It's very visually pleasing. And then these these lights. I don't know if he's in a parking garage. Come get high That's with nice me. too. Light it up now. Smoke for a nice release. Roll it up now. Come get high with me. And the, the beat is kind of like a throwback, so. Dre AM Nicoletta Agata directed. Alright, that was Dre AM with the song Smoke Sesh. I really like the visuals of this song, of the of the video itself. Um, shout out to the director, Nicole, Nicoletta Agata. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But yeah, check, uh, check that director out. Just the use of li the lighting and the side lighting and the different colors and the, the mirror effect of, of when he's riding around in the car. I just really liked how it visually was and like the, the, the distortion of the, the lights far away and also the the use of the lighting while Dre was smoking so it's like you can accentuate the smoke with like the different lights and the positioning and the colors as well so very visually pleasing as far as the music um it it, it kind of had an old school vibe to it you know it had the sample the looping sample with just like the straight beat and uh, maybe just a little bit of, of strings or synth in the back that just came in every now and again. But yeah, it, it just kind of more focused you in on the words and the lyrics that the that Dre AM was trying to convey. And like I said in the beginning, I really enjoy his voice. It's very, it's very raw and gritty at times. And um, I also like the hook. He was able to use some melody 
to kind of move the song along and, and give it that push forward because sometimes when you're rapping it, it can sound kind of monotonous so you have to resort to different things like switching up your tempo or your cadence or adding a little melody in so i like that he can switch it up in that in that way so um like i said in the beginning i believe he's friends with armstrong ww who is the artist that we featured on the show previously so check that artist out and and uh yeah spread the word if you got a friend out there that wants to be on the show or you want to be on the show just send me an email send me a dm on any of my social medias and we'll get you on the show all right my friends we've reached the end of another episode but before we go i just want to say that next month the month of october we're going to be doing something a little bit different i'm going to be showcasing some of the songs that i personally like these are going to be songs that aren't some of them are going to be mainstream artists some of them are going to be outside of the realm of like american culture some songs are going to be not even in english so these episodes in october are just going to showcase uh just some of my musical tastes and how how wide-ranging they are how eclectic they are because on the show when i promote these artists we have different artists we have some like techno artists and some classical modern fusion artists we have indie guitar songwriter artists we have hip-hop and rapping and i genuinely like all of this music all of these different artists and all of these different genres and it's it's a little bit of how I like music. I don't like one specific genre. I like to take influences from all different types of genres. So it influences my own personal music as well. So just be on the lookout the month of October. It's going to be a little bit different. And then when we get back to November, we'll get back to promoting these rising and up and coming artists like we normally do. So on behalf of my little robot friend, we just want to say thank you to everybody out there and we'll see you all next time. Peace.